Somebody asked me why I didn't uh, just publish a work of nonfiction, uh, such as what uh, Michael was just referring to. Um, there are good historians out there doing that kind of thing. Um, but I'm not sure that they get us to what's true um, because of how I define what's true. There is, of course, uh, factual truth. You know, the war started on Monday, but we could also say it started on Sunday because there were some people killed that day. I mean, you see, you, you start jockeying with the facts and competing for, well, who's more right? Um, and that, you know, has some value to it. Uh, I'm not going to say that it doesn't, but when it comes to trying to change people's hearts, to sensitize people, to raise their awareness, uh, we need stories. I mean, we've been telling stories for thousands of years, you know, and before we could talk, we were probably drawing our stories on the cave walls, you know. There's something about the dynamics of a story uh, that gets us deeper into what it means to be human than mere facts. And that's why I'm a storyteller. You know, whether I'm uh, composing a song or even a piece of music without words, uh, whether I'm writing a poem or a work of nonfiction, or in this case, fiction, it's all story. It comes out of a story. There's story in my head when I'm writing it. Um, there's story that things are moving into. And part of the story that I want things to move into is a better world.